Hey everyone, welcome back. Do you wanna do some thrifting with me today? Well, come check out my big haul, big for me at least. Yeah, can you see me behind this massive thing? Curious what this beauty might be? Well, stay tuned. All right, so about maybe once every, what would you say, Graham, three to four months, mm -hmm. I take my mom out and we do a day of thrifting. And I just had the itch to find some things. You know, how do you stay frugal? How do you stay doing things on a budget, especially during inflation? How do you get through the inflation when you, know, you wanna redecorate or you need a new appliance or you need some clothes, or you just want to go shopping. So this, this I have to tell you, was my husband's great deal. So here we go. You ready? This thing's huge. There you go. Look at this. Can you see this? This, we weren't sure what it was, but when I open it, if it's not brand new, if you can see in there, there is not a speck of dirt. If it's not brand new, I'd say it's about 95% brand new. Three trays that look like this. All right. And then we have, I'm not putting it in there correctly, one tray that looks like this. So again, there is the inside of it. So we couldn't figure out there were no buttons, there were not, no on off buttons. So what do you do? You take your Google lens and you shine it over there, you take a picture and you find out to find out. I didn't know if it was a dehydrator or an air fryer. And it was an air fryer and my husband's eyes lit up. And he's like, oh honey, but we couldn't figure out how to turn it on and off. So we, my husband took it to the register. They plugged it in to make sure it worked. And then on the front here, all the lights lit up. It's like my old Kasuri where everything was push button, but it has to be plugged in for you to actually be able to see all the buttons. $10. So I'm gonna, this, listen, go get your coffee because we're gonna be a few minutes. You don't like long videos, I'm sorry, but I went to an area in New Jersey called Tuckerton, and there are two really nice thrift stores there. One is a more quaint, old fashioned, you know, and you could get everything really cheap there. That's where we got that one. Then there's another one that's about a mile down the road and that one is owned by a Christian church that's down there and it's fantastic, prices are great. It is the most quaint and unique looking place as well. And then if you've ever heard of Stewart's Root Beer, well, we have a Stewart's restaurant. They still have the car hop where you can drive up and you put your headlights on and they come out. They used to come out on roller skates. They don't do that anymore. And you take your order and then they give you a tray. They hook onto your window and you can eat in your car. We opted to go into the restaurant. So let me show you some pictures of that right now. Did you see that ice cream soda float root beer, Stewart's root beer with vanilla ice cream? Oh, so good. Okay, so the, this is a combination of the two thrift stores. I'm not gonna necessarily say this came from here and so on, but I needed an ice cream scoop and this was 50 cents. I don't know, I liked it. I liked the handle, the grip, and it's a good sturdy one. We had one and we would take the ice cream out and it would bend this all the way backwards. And then we had another one where, you know, you do the, the squeeze thing and the trigger broke. So then we would use a spoon and most times it would spend, bend the spoon. So I liked this one with the handle on here and to scoop it out, I thought that was really cool. This I have wanted, I don't know if you can see that really well, for the longest time. Janelle on Parsnips and Parsimony. If you haven't checked out Parsnips and Parsimony channel, definitely check it out. But she uses this and I think it's called a Danish whisk, I think. 
but it's for doing like bread doughs and things like that because you need to get in there. So I picked this up, 50 cents. These are about $25 on Amazon. Then I was able to get a book. Yes, I know, cleaning out recipe books, right? I just said I'm cleaning that out. This is called Our Daily Bread. You know when you get old books, it's all yellowed, 1970. And I thought it was a devotional, but it's a book on breads. But it had some very, very unique, different breads in here. And I had gotten a bread book and I really haven't liked it. So when I looked at this, I was like, oh, this is great. And they have $2 a bag to fill a bag of books. So I asked her, I said, how much would this be? And she said, just take it. So on the back cover, it has oatmeal, date muffins, and hot cinnamon bread. So there's a couple of recipes right there I wanna try. Now I talked about decor for your home. This is not everybody's style, but this is just uh, metal. What would you call this? Vase? Yeah. I don't know, like we're gonna do it outdoors. It was $5 and actually it might even look nice by our fireplace and put some greenery in it. Just have the greenery coming out. I don't know what it was. It was unique, it was different. Again, this is not everybody's style, but I really liked it for $5. So my husband has many layers to his life and he is a sketcher. And I found this bag for him and it's perfect because the back opens up. He can carry his sketch pad in here and pockets. And then in the front here, Graham always likes to carry his iPad. He's always working on ideas. He can put things in here. And then it's got for his sunglasses pocket, it's got pockets here for his pencils and erasers and anything else that he does. And it was a really nice bag he can carry by the handle. It also has a strap and it has the little shoulder extra piece here to make it comfortable. And this was $4 and this is Wilson's leather. I just realized Wilson's leather. So this was meant for Graham Wilson because it has Wilson leather in there. So we should look up and see how much this would be worth. Yeah. This is uh, real leather and the lady at the register said between the air fryer and this, we definitely got a steal, which we did. So then I got a couple of other little gizmos here and gadgets. So Graham purchased this for $5 and this would be like an equivalent to a ring light, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So you hook this to your tripod. So you can light me up now. So we're gonna try this out. For $5, he picked that up. That was a great buy. I don't know if there are vloggers down there, but every time we go, there's lots of tripods and like equipment like that. Then I was able to get Graham three pairs of men's jeans and I got him, this is like an army green, picked up a tan and then we picked up a, I don't know if it's a dark blue or a black, but either way, $5. This is a little tray. Usually you get a big one and you put your utensils or I don't even know odds and ends in here. Well, it was $1 and it was just so stinking cute. I had to get me, it. But I just thought this might be cool. My idea was to put some of my spices in here, like my onion powder, my garlic powder, my salt, my pepper, and some of the other things that I use constantly by the stove. My cabinetry is weird in my kitchen, so my spices are pretty far. And yes, I know you're gonna say, well, why, just, why don't you just put your spice cabinet near the stove? Because my dishes are there. Story, I need this for spices. I thought right by the stove, I can lift it, put it in my turntable cabinet and bring it out when I need it. So then I was able to get this lovely basket. I loved the color of this. I have a lot of pioneer women um, things in my kitchen. And this just sort of hit me with the colors. I could just see yellow and red with this. And believe it or not, this basket was $1. That If you can see the depth of that, like that, there's my hand and my arm, that's pretty big for $1. So I was thrilled with that. Let me get these goodies out of the way. I told you this is gonna be a long video. All right, what did I get for me? Let me get my tops. I picked up this one here. This was, this is the type of thing, like I like a plain shirt when I go to work and I wear a jacket and usually jewelry or a scarf in the winter. That's my standard. Black pants, white, gray, or black top, maybe a color top with a jacket, jewelry, and or a scarf. And this one, I like three quarter length sleeve. This was a nice light gray. I wore this with a white top the other day. I've washed it and I drip dried it and look how it came out perfect, right? This is a Susan Graver. 
if you ever see Susan Graver, you know, this probably went for $45 to $55 if you were to buy this brand new and I was able to pick this up for $3. Good deal. Then I picked this up. Now this is larger than I would normally, a, a bigger size. And this is um, New Directions. I've never heard of that, I don't know. I'll show you it this way so I can get it on the screen. It's just a yellow kind of floppy top, uh, that wrinkly look. But again, with a white shirt, I don't, I'm not really into yellow, but lately I've been finding things in yellow. So I thought this would be really cute. Again, with a white top and just something light in the summer. So when I'm working in the office and the air conditioning is on, I've got something nice and light to wear. And then this one is brand new. I don't know how much it is. And um, yeah, I don't know. Made in Egypt, but you can see the tag is on it. I don't know the price on it, but I paid $5 for this. And I didn't mind paying $5 where the other one was three because this one is brand new. And I probably will be wearing this to work tomorrow. But three quarter length sleeve once again. And it is just a nice flowy jacket. I just love it. So a couple other home decor things. This one was uh, $5 and I really liked it. It has, I'll show you there. There's the basket there, the basket there, and there is the top and it's just green, like wrought iron. And I just liked it, there you go. So look at this. It even smells good. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Dried oranges. We've got pine cones. I don't know. Dried some other things. Little pumpkin. It's got metal leaves here. It's got a nice base there. Let's see if it's made by... Oh, TJ Maxx. $16.99. I paid $3. So I'm in love. I live in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. And of course, we have pine cones. And I love pumpkin. So let me show you a couple of other things. And so many of you ask, is Kip still around, our dog? Yes, Kip is around. Kip thinks he owns the place. And Kip tends to want a little too much attention from us when we are on the camera. So we usually, Graham has to take him in the other room. Graham's sitting here with me now because I had to hand him odds and ends and get things out of the way. But he tends, Kip tends to get in the way of the camera and bumps the tripod and all the rest. So if you did see my gardening video from a few videos back, you got to see him outside. He's fine, he's well, he's doing great. And yes, we'll get him back on another video. But with that being said, the older Kip gets, the more, um, anxiety he is having. One of the things that we have decided to try because it has become such a problem, uh, I am not going to shampoo my rug every day and you know, enough is enough to try doggy diapers. So doggy diapers are not cheap, but at the thrift store, you got that, we found Beagle doggy diapers for $1. Now they're pink. They are designed for a female dog. Our dog is a male. So we're not trying to change his, you know, identity or anything like that. But we figured for $1, we could put him on one day when we're in the house, if my husband's gonna go upstairs and need to work upstairs and there'll be nobody on the first floor. Kip cannot make the stairs, they're too steep, he's too old. He can sit in his dog bed, he can relax, he's fine. He's been well fed and well loved. But we might try putting something like this on him. If nothing else, it might deter, deter him from doing any, any business because he's gonna have to sit in it. Now granted, it's for female, obviously the padding is different, but it still might deter him enough that he's not going to wanna sit in this till daddy comes down. So we picked that up. We picked up this, this really nice, um, I don't know what you call it, like a car seat for the dog. It's got the clasp on it that you can hook him into it. And it's very nice. They had three of them there. What was this, $5? Yeah. $5, and uh, it's quite nice. It's very comfortable. It's got a nice, inside it's a nice padding. 
So one of the things we found is our dog groomer is literally like two minutes down the street. And just that two minutes, if Kip is on the lower end, like on the floor of the car, he freaks out. But if we let him sit on top of the car seat, you know, on the seat itself, he can look around and he's very comfortable because he sees his surroundings. So with that being said, if we go to my mom's and want to take him, we thought if we had this on the seat, we can strap him in and get him all hooked up and all the rest. And he might be more comfortable in the car. So another thing we found, and it was $2.50, and it looks brand new. It's supposed to be for smart dogs. Now, Kip is a beagle. He can spot a deer, a rabbit, and take off after them. You put a treat right in front of his nose practically, and he's looking everywhere else but where it is. But we thought this would be fun. So if this works, we're going to do a video on this because I think you guys would enjoy it. But it's called Shufflebone Dog IQ Puzzle. How smart is your dog? And sneak, seek a treat. Not sneak, seek a treat. There you go. So you have, you put a treat in here and they have to move these little things back and forth and they can get a treat out of it. So we're gonna give it a try and see for $2.50. We thought it would be fun. I have a girlfriend that I work with. She has a German Shepherd and I was telling her about this and she says, oh, if your dog doesn't like it and it doesn't work, I'd love to try it on my dog. So if we decide not to keep it, I can always pass that along. So I just wanna encourage you during these times of, you know, th life is really crazy and you know, maybe you wanna decorate, you wanna get some new clothes, you just need a little pick me up and you want to go shopping and you're like, Oh, I got to stay out of the stores. They're so expensive. Now you can spend tons of money at a thrift store if you so choose, but if you're going to go and you want to just look for a nice little jacket for yourself, you know, $3, got this one for $3. I got decorations for a basket for a dollar. You know, if you took $10 with you, you could pick up quite a few items and really enjoy yourself and come home and feel like you got a treat. I think in these times, um, you know, they, when, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I just feel that, you know what, we need to encourage ourselves. We need to find things that bring us joy and bring us happiness. I'm all about saving money. I'm all about being frugal. I'm all about getting a good buy and all the rest and but you know what you just sometimes need to get out of the house you need to go somewhere put a smile on your face even if you go window shopping and a thrift store you never know what you're going to find even if you found nothing that day you had the adventure of looking they had fill a bag for two dollars for books if you're a book reader you could stuff that bag with lots and lots of books for two dollars it would come out to pennies a piece you can enjoy those books and you can always declutter and donate them back you know when you're done reading them or pass them on to a friend i just want to encourage you today to know that it's okay to go and treat yourself it's okay to look for things it's okay to feel like you know i just need to get out and i want to spend a little money i'm not telling you to blow your bank account but i am telling you sometimes you just need to do something for yourself that's going to put a smile on your face and make you feel happy i would love to know how many of you are thrift shoppers I've been going since I'm a little girl. That's all I've ever learned. Thrift shops, yard sales, flea markets, all the rest. My husband, I think, is worse than me, aren't you? Yeah. He loves thrift shopping. How many of you are thrift shoppers and have you gotten any great buys like that air fryer we got for $10? Have you guys gotten any good buys? Let me know and we'll chat over those comments and I will see you on the next video.